Hey guys, I'm back doing some fun different things. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, how to use my new makeup line. Uh, it has been a uh, like super long time since I have done a video like this of this nature. So I'm gonna be probably a little bit rusty. We're gonna do a get ready with me. Just a little talking, friendly, chatting back and forth. Except for I'm gonna be pretty much talking at the camera because you guys are not really gonna be able to talk back to me. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do a really cool, fun, summer, coral eye. <laughs> a lot of pauses. I got these two palettes from Huda Beauty because I couldn't control myself. Don't tell anyone. Okay so this is the Metallic Obsessions and it, it's oh, it is just stunning. It's at Sephora. I think it's like somewhere around the $25 range, but it's stunning. Stunning. So uh, I, I have to, I had to buy it. These are awesome because they're tiny and they're perfect for travel, which is exactly what I need. Look at this one. This is the Coral Obsessions. Also stunning. These colors though, you guys. Oh God, they're so beautiful. Anyways, I thought these palettes would be super fun for summer. A lot of people are going to be going on vacation. That's what people do in the summer. You go on vacation. You know what I mean? Or you're like me and you just work a lot. <laughs> so. um, but either way, I could still, you know, have a fun time pretending like I'm going on vacation. I look like the Mad Hatter with all of this. Just everywhere. Okay, in any case. Um... I, I'm going to link them down in the description box below, but I got mine at Sephora, and I, I swear I think they're only like 25 bucks. Um, but I like them, again, because they're tiny, and I can travel with them, and here's why. So, <clears throat> this is my makeup studio, my makeup space. I am a professional makeup artist, which you guys already know that because you probably have been watching my channel for a long time. If you're new, hello, welcome. Um, and so I, A, don't use all of this stuff for my own personal use, but the stuff that I do use for my own personal use, I sometimes will switch products out because, you know, I'm not going to use the same thing over and over and over again. Where's the spice of life in that? So <clears throat> this is my makeup case. <laughs> this is the, this, I know to you guys, you're like, damn, that's a huge makeup case. But to me, I can't really fit that much in here. Okay, you guys. So I got to be very choosy on who actually comes home with me and um, who stays here. And I do talk to my makeup. So make sure we get that out there. Anyways, um, so these little palettes are awesome because I can fit two in here and they're not taking up a whole lot of space to where I could have to potentially not take something else with me because if they're large palettes, like, a, like you know, traditional palette would be, you know, this thing in here, it's gonna take up a ton of space and I know this is a face palette, but just for comparison, you know, I can get two of these in there where, and they're thinner and, you know, so I can actually have some variety in my makeup kit at home. Um, everything is always sanitized anyway, so if there is any kind of, you know, possibility where I may use these on a job or whatever, I mean, it's eyeshadow palette. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to do a cool look with maybe both of these or one of these, I'm not sure, but I'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. The other thing I'm also going to show you how to do is how to use, how to properly use <clears throat> my, this is my, this is my special treats bag. Um, and all of my makeup line is in here. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to properly use the highlighting products that I just launched. So I'm going to use the 
new liquid glows that I created. And I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use natural light. There's four colors. I will link them all down in the description box. But natural light's one of my faves because of the color that it is. It's just like a really nice, um, rosy gold. Give it a good shaky shake, okay? And then I just put a couple pumps in the back of my hand. See, like so. And it's a cool color. Maybe I can try to get it this way so you guys can actually see. I don't know, it's, it's kind of a lot there. But uh, I got a big face, so. Where's my stuff? Here. I'm gonna use one of my IT Cosmetics brushes. Oh God, I love these brushes. They're the bomb. Anyways, I just put this, I just slap this all over my face. Uh, you could also use your phalanges or you could use a beauty blender. Um, I just like to use a brush because I really hate getting my hands dirty and my fingers all dirty. I don't know. So this is the liquid glow or liquid luminosity in natural light and what it'll do is uh, it is just making my face perfect. It helps reflect the light better. It gives you a really nice all over glow and it's perfect. I also wear this by itself, just like this, so my skin looks nice and fresh and dewy. My favorite. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do to pump up the volume, I really hope that I'm in focus, I gotta be honest. I haven't used my camera in a while. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use one of my stick luminizers. I have four shades. I could really use all four of them if I wanted to. Um, all of these were formulated for all skin tones, all skin types, and uh, they're really good for mature skin. So if you're over 50 or over 40 or I don't know, whatever you would consider mature nowadays, personally, in my opinion, it's not until like 60 plus, um, you can use these. You can use these and uh, they really, really help make your face look alive. I'm gonna show you some tricks. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna use the color Iced Gold because it's my fave. Uh, I also really like Neo Nude. Neo Nude's one of my favorite colors. So you're gonna just slap this on the high points of the face. So I just literally just draw circles around the outside here. I put mine on a little thicker because I know that I'm gonna use a probably more higher coverage, fuller foundation, um, only because I wanted to try this one today. Probably not the greatest idea because I'm not even going anywhere or doing, um, I'm gonna be doing f some fun stuff, but I'm just gonna do fun stuff here at home. Um, but anyways, so I you just stripe it on. You guys saw me, right? And then you can blend it with your fingers or you can blend it with a brush. I'm gonna blend with the brush because I just don't wanna mess with my fingers. This color is gorgeous. And you're gonna literally just pounce the brush in right over the product and blend it. I'm just itching right now. You're gonna blend it right in to your skin. Um, if you don't want to wear like foundation or anything like that, I usually do this on days when I don't want to wear foundation and I just wear sunscreen and then I do this and you look, you look perfect. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to put on, um, I'm going to do a little bit of primer, uh, only cause I just want to see how this is going to be. I'm trying a new foundation today. This primer is a Makeup Forever primer. It's a nourishing one. They say that it's supposed to be really good at um, hydration, which I feel like I probably was okay with the hydration because of my liquid luminosity. Um, but I wanted to test uh, for full coverage and I wanna see if it makes a difference. So <clears throat> this one is, um, Step one, base nourishing primer, skin equalizer. I'm 
We're gonna try out this new Cover FX foundation. So this is the deal. This foundation is the new Power Play foundation from Cover FX. I got mine in the color N25, which I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be a good color for me, but this stuff is supposed to be like unbreakable. It's full coverage, sweat proof. I've heard a lot about it. I was just testing it because I'm just curious if it's gonna work out for me. So we're gonna <laughs> apply it in small doses. I've also heard that it has a matte finish and I don't know if I'm gonna like that either because I'm just not a matte person. We're gonna try this. I just put, you know, a couple dollops on my uh, back of my hand and I'm going to stipple it on with my same awesome It Cosmetic brush. I also wonder if it's going to make my skin look dry. I mean, I don't really feel like it looks dry right now, but I don't feel like I also did a ton of coverage. I also feel like this side is a little bit more than the other side. So I'm just gonna put a little extra dollop or so. But if this works out, I mean, I'm gonna be kind of excited because sweat proof foundation in the summertime just sounds like a dream come true. Don't forget to blend down onto the sides of your neck over here, guys. But never concentrate any product over there because that's how you get that line of demarcation. Who else is, uh all of a sudden decided to get, uh, you know, seasonal allergies. You too? Yeah, me too. Bad timing though, huh? I'm gonna show you guys that product since I started talking about it. It's this CC Plus Bronzer, Color Correcting Bronzing Full Coverage Cream. I don't know. I mean, I got it because I got sucked into the QVC It Cosmetics Time Warp, but I gotta be honest, I don't know that <laughs> It's um, like the best color for me. So again, just always kind of apply from the back of your hand and then just sort of dabble where you wanna place the product. In uh, most circumstances, it's gonna be kind of like around the hairline, right? And then right underneath the cheekbone, right in this general vicinity. Pop those cheekbones, girl. Pop those cheekbones. Or boys. Girls or boys. Um, <clears throat> so right underneath, and another key trick is if you like kind of imagine drawing a line from the top of your ear to your mouth, that's sort of where you're going to want to place your bronzers. I just, I don't know that, sometimes when I do this, I kind of look a little Oompa Loompa-y. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't really always look uh, like it's got the best uh, color for my particularly pale skin tone. So, super fair girls, when they tell you that, oh, this anybody can wear this. I don't know that they're telling you the truth. Because I gotta be honest, sometimes I look super orange. I also, a little key trick is whatever you've applied to your face, um, I kind of sort of do a little swisheroo on the eyes just to kind of give me an all over cohesiveness, you know what I mean? And then I do like a little bit on the side of the nose and under the nose, whatever's left on the brush sometimes just gives you that perfect pigmentation that you were looking for to kind of make everything blend better. It's a little orangey. I mean, it's not bad, but you know. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna try a new concealer. No. This is the Got It Covered Sponge Applicator Concealer by Lottie London. I've never tried this brand before. Kind of excited, kind of terrified. You know the feeling? It's in the color Fawn, which seems like a nice shade name actually. So I'm gonna has anyone else used Lottie London? Depending on how this performs today, I may take this home with me. Let's see how it blends. I'm gonna use the same brush because I'm a no maintenance kind of girl. Side note, because of my allergies, my skin, my uh, eyes have been watering like crazy. Like sometimes I have to really tell people, like I'm not crying. I swear, my eyes are just watering like crazy. That looks good. 
Not too bad, Lottie London. I'm gonna put this in there right now because I like it. So my eye, like my eyelids were getting really irritated. Like I almost had like dry skin patches. It was really bad. I'm gonna examine myself up close because the YouTube camera view thing is not always the best mirror, you know what I mean? Oh, this looks pretty good. The foundation though, aside from what is on my head, aside from, it looks good in the mirror, like farther away, but up close, I kind of look like a little texture-y-ish, which I'm not super um, excited about. Oh wow, I also seem to have like a, a hole in my eyebrows. Yeah, we're gonna see. Also, not a huge fan of um, the concealer up close. And I also have to pluck my eyebrows, so I'll be back in it. Okay. I'm gonna do a teeny bit more bronzing here. Just a little quick bronzing action. My favorite tried and true Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. My nose still is itching. And uh, I'm just kind of going over those spots. Probably didn't need to because the other one um, did pretty good with the bronzing. It's just um, the color that it was was not my liking. I'm going to try a new trick. I am going to use the Fenty Beauty. Mimosa Sunrise Sangria Sunset. I'm gonna use this as blush because I can't use it as a highlighter. And I'm trying the, uh, I'm using the new Fenty brush, which probably was a waste of money because I don't think it makes much of a difference. It's a little clowny, but I swear, I promise you, it will look better. Because to be honest with you, this always, um, it always wears off super fast. So I'm actually mixing both of the colors for the perfect apricot. These always like, like I'll put them on and they'll be super vibrant and then like 10 minutes later, I'll look at my face and I'll be like, don't have any blush on. Okay. Then we're gonna use my new highlighters. <gasps> I'm so excited. I like the second color the best. Um, that's what I'm gonna use right now too because it goes with my look. I'm gonna just gonna use the Fenty brush because I don't know, I wanna see if it's what the big hype is about. Look at that highlight. That's how you use it. You can layer them, obviously, just like I did. Layering them will make it, you know, more intense. However, it also makes it just kind of look a little bit more, I think, natural. The reason why I think it looks more natural is because it looks like your skin underneath is glowing, like right here and other areas where I placed the, the stick cream blush or the stick cream highlighter. It just kind of gives it more of like an all over, like, Hello. You know what I mean? Whereas this is obviously a more blinding highlight. Um, it does blend down really nicely into the skin and it's not chalky or choppy or nasty at all. So that's always super fun. I'm gonna move on to the next thing, which is my eyeballs. I'm just using a uh, cream color from Elizabeth Auden. It's an older one from summer. It's called Anchors Away. I love it. Um, and it's just a cream color. Um, I like to use cream pots as primers. It's just like a MAC paint pot, basically. I mean, it's nothing, you know, whatever. I just like to use them for color base. And I just put it on with my finger, and I pat it in, blend it out, make sure that there's no harsh lines, and you're done.
Okay. Wow. Wow! I took this MAC brush. It's the uh, 227 or 221. It's a small um, crease brush. Fluffy. Small. Oh, okay. And I did the Coral Obsessions palette. And I used... Uh, these two really pretty matte shades right here. This is the darker, um, <laughs> what is this? I use this one and this one and I mix them together. And what I did was I did the crease and I did under my eyes as well, just to kind of get everything all together in one fluid time. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this shade right here. And I'm gonna kind of outline those same areas. So, crease, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna sort of concentrate it a little bit more though on the outer V area for depth. So we're gonna do the crease and then I'm bringing it down right here on my lid, okay? Then you're gonna go underneath as well. Hopefully not poking yourself in the eye like I have been doing. It's a really pretty color. These shadows are pretty pigmented. Um, I don't feel like they're super pigmented, like to where they're hard to work with. You know, sometimes like really, really pigmented shadows are actually sort of tough to work with. These are actually not hard to work with at all. And I shouldn't do that because you can't see. But I think that, like I said, pigmented enough to make an impact, not too pigmented to where they're hard to work with. We're concentrating on the outer V, bringing it down over here, and then down underneath the eye as well. So you're just kind of framing this outer area right here. I think I'm done with this one, although I love this and I really kind of want to use some of these metallics. I'm going to save it because I'm going to do something a little different. I don't really use a lot of greens and blues and stuff. That's just not my, that's not my jam, and I really want to so today. So I think we're going to use... I'm gonna do purple and green. And I'm gonna use my finger to lay it down. These are metallic shades, so usually they're more metallic if you use your finger to apply. So I'm using this purple color right here, and then I'm gonna use this green one, but I'm gonna do the purple first. So I'm gonna lay it down on my lid, you just push it in with your finger, um, and I'm gonna start in the middle, kinda go inside here. I'm gonna blend it into the matte brown corals that we've created on the on this side. We also, if I could, you know, zoom you in now, is that better, you guys? Bring it into the mats over here. Hopefully, I don't look too uh, flashy for tonight's festivities. What are you guys doing this weekend? Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now I'm gonna use the green. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle where the two colors are connecting. And I'm gonna blend it up. It's like a watercolor eye. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so cool. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one. And I'll show you guys on a bigger scale so that kind of get a feel for how to do it. I just need to check out something. Hold on. Yeah, it's like a watercolor eye. Finger with the purple in inner corner here and blending it into the middle where you laid down your matte shades just like you did on the other eye. So the metallics are super metallic um, on the Huda Beauty palettes. They make a good topper. I feel like it has enough color to where it's pigmented, but I still feel like I can kind of see the other shade underneath still, which is nice. So yeah, I like them. Definitely like them. I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna do the middle and blend it. 
That was a lot of green, apparently. It's all right, though. If you ever put too much on on the first try, um, there's two things you can do. A, blend it with your other finger that doesn't have any color on it. Sometimes it'll blend pretty well. Um, or you can go back into the other side and just sort of add a little more until they match. It's artistry. There's no rules, you guys. It is your day. Whatever you want to do, you do it. I'm going to add a little more purple because I feel like we're losing some of that. And I also didn't really put purple on the outer outskirts because I wasn't planning on going that far over. But hey, you know, you win some, you lose some. These are really actually super pigmented. Little goes a long way. Keep that in mind when you're using these, would you guys? So final thing, because it kind of gets a little bit everywhere because you're using your finger, you know. So you're just going to kind of come in here and clean up. You're not going to take any product on your brush. You're just going to take your clean brush and you're going to come in and sort of like just wisp over the areas, outer areas of the eye, back into crease, underneath as well, making sure you're just sort of like blending everything really nicely together. I also sometimes tend to have a little bit more fallout than other times, just depending on the kind of shadows you use. So I actually use it to my advantage to kind of smoke out my eye. If I can't get it to work, then I just take my uh, brush that has my that I used my foundation to give it a good pat, sort of, sort of clean up underneath there. I don't really ever need to have to like add any more concealer or anything like that. So now we're gonna do the brows. And I'm gonna put on some mascara, and we'll be done. So I'm gonna show you guys um, the products that I'm gonna use for that. Um, for my brows, I like to use this Dior Show brow pencil. I have it in two different colors. I have brown and then I have, I think universal brown. Hold on, dark brown. So dark brown is dark. The 001 brown is kind of more of a like tawny blonde slash different tone. The dark brown is like a chocolatey dark brown. Comb up here. This is a trick, you guys. If you, uh, I have to do this so that you can see. If you comb up, it'll actually allow you to see the shape and definition of your brow. And if you continue to just kind of keep combing up with your brows and then just kind of get them trimmed, it'll really help you um, with your shape. So I just comb them up and then I do short little strokes, usually along the same direction as the hair grows especially in the front here where I want to fill it in so it's a little bit more full. Um, it just tends to look like hair that way and it looks a little bit more natural. Uh, I do sometimes go this way as well. Uh, underneath, kind of give myself a little more definition on the bottom of the brow. And then I sort of kind of go up in this area, almost like a Nike symbol, and not quiet. Uh, I kind of over, overdraw my brows a little bit, mainly because as I get older, they're becoming null and void. As I become older, I'm also uh, having harder, uh, harder time seeing, and so I have to get the mirror like all up in my business in order to see what I'm doing, which is also somewhat embarrassing. So from here, I'm just sort of defining my arch a little bit more, and then I just kind of comb it out so it just looks more natural. See the difference between my eyebrows? It's like night and day. Makes, I'm telling you, brows make a big difference. You guys are not doing brows at home right now. I can totally understand because I used to really not do much with my brows, but they make a huge difference. Huge. Huge! So I don't always tend to uh, fill in the top at all. I usually just sort of work from the bottom. Um, but I'm feeling like this look may need a slightly bolder brow. You know what I mean?
this one is definitely fuller like right in here but you know what it's fine they're sisters or cousins or something like that but they're not twins so at least that's what somebody told me one time the only thing I don't like about this brow pencil is that when you comb through it it's sort of like like it's like dusty and it makes like it gets like dust everywhere like brow dust not fun so <clears throat> I do sometimes have to kind of clean it up a little bit not really a lot though because I'm not about that life I just kind of take a clean brush and uh, to sort of like dust off the the top and uh, the inside here and any other areas I feel like it maybe has you know a collection of brow dust the other thing I use is the Dior show bold brow I do like it tinted I also really like this for the summer in general on days when I don't want to really fill in my brows I just kind of put this on there and they look a lot fuller um it's great for like a uh, more of a natural makeup look. I really like this stuff. And I think the color I get is brown, maybe? I'm gonna look really quickly and I will tell you guys. And it'll also be in the description box. But the color is shade 21. And it's the brow mascara. I think it's probably, it's just, it's the brown one. They probably come in like blonde, brown. Since there's a tint to it, it gives you a really nice fullness and a really good shape because it does really hold the brows in place. So, I don't know. I've never had a problem like getting it off though. Like when I go to sleep at night and I wash my face, it's just, I just wash my face and boom, we're done. Everything is normal. There's no like bulletproof craziness. I'm using the Ardell wispies mascara fiber building mascara ardell fiber building mascara and they it is fibers definitely um i hope they don't really flake into my contacts because as it sorts to th this is older i've had it for a little while and as it sorts to like it's kind of drying up a little bit Probably time to replace your mascara, ladies. Um, and I have noticed as it's like kind of starts to dry up a little, the fibers sometimes tend to flake off. Definitely love this mascara though. And I will be repurchasing it because it's awesome. It's awesome. Look at that. This is, I love it. It's the best mascara. I love it. <clears throat> another trip, another tip and trick with mascara. Wait until it dries, because I always get it all over my face, because that's just how we do. Wait until it dries and then like pick it off so you're not, you know, making a mess. I'm going to also use a setting spray and I think I'm going to use one of these like dewy mist ones because I kind of wanted to try it. Um, this one is by Ciate, but I've got a couple of these so I'm going to. I'm gonna try and fight it. Ooh, do we spread? Ready? Oh god. That really looks awesome. Gotta be honest. Uh, I'm also gonna use the new Mar Mars. The NARS Orgasm Lip Balm. This stuff is awesome. I've already used it, so I'm cheating, but it's really pretty. And it's really balmy. Has a perfect amount of shine and ugh, I love it. I have apparently officially gotten old. But I still look good so. But I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or anything. You put that in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And uh, thank you also for supporting my new makeup line. 
I can't believe I did that. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Her and her mom are getting drunk right now without me. It's all right. I don't need those calories. I don't need those empty calories. What? Play cards. <laughs>